Welcome, 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 everybody. I am Octothulu, and as you can see, I am racking up quite the stunt driver points. Now, thanks to Reddit user Glacials, you too can be all of your friends in Stunt Driver. So stay tuned, and I'll show you exactly how to make all your friends jealous of your Stunt Driver score in Just Cause 3. So, as always, here is the starting island. From here, you need to go north and then west to Libizio. Once you're in Libizio, on the eastern portion of it, on the other side of this peninsula or inlet here, you'll see this field of windmills. What you're going to want to do is you want to pick a windmill that has nice flat ground around it. There's a few that are good candidates. As you can see, I chose this one here. And you're going to want one that's close to either this road here or this road here because they are high car traffic roads. So go ahead and line the front of your car up in line with the windmill blade in the direction that the blade is going. Attach it tethered to the front of the car. Wait for the blade to come around and attach it to there. And then you're going to need to shorten the length of the tether a bit. Now it is suggested that you do this with max strength tethers, though it may be possible to do it without them. Once you've got your car in the perfect arc, next is just down to attaching to the car at the perfect time and landing on the roof. As you can see here, the easiest way I found was to just keep grabbing it in a circle around the windmill until Rico landed on the car in the right spot. If you do it this method, you'll have to grapple it three times in a row. You should get it pretty easy when you get the hang of it down. And there you have it, that's how you can beat all of your friends at Stunt Driver and put them all to shame. I've been Octothulu, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Uh -huh.